Let's take a look at the weather around the country for this Thursday morning. Brisbane, good day to you. Partly cloudy skies today with a top of 30 degrees. Sydney, cloudy and 27 will be your top today. Canberra, a few clouds and 33. Melbourne, partly cloudy and 27. Mostly sunny in Hobart, 23. Sunshine in Adelaide, 34. Don't go anywhere. The Today Show with Brooke and Alex starts right now. Tainted legacy, Cardinal George Pell dies, mixed reception at Rome and at home. The Pope paying tribute overnight as plans take shape to bring his body to Australia. Exclusive, Novak Djokovic hits back. All of a sudden I became the villain you know, of the world, which, which was uh, obviously a terrible position to be in. The Serbian speaks out defending his deportation drama. Grounded, a massive computer glitch brings all American flights to a standstill. Chaos across the states. Life-changing breakthrough, new hope for kids with peanut allergies. What Aussie researchers have found. Also today, why using tap and go could cost you more. The hidden fees burning a hole in your pocket. Plus, snakes on a printer? A receptionist's nasty surprise in the office. And the incredible Sam Smith is waking up with us, sharing big news for Aussie fans today, Thursday the 12th of January, 2023. Great to have you with us. Good morning to you, Brooke. Good morning to you at home. We want to begin this morning, though, with the shock death of Cardinal George Pell. Overnight, the Pope paying tribute to the late Cardinal's dedication to the church. Even in his hour of trial, his death described as sudden, following complications with a hip replacement. A divisive figure, he went from a prince of the church to prisoner before his sexual abuse conviction was quashed. In a moment, the latest on his funeral plans in Sydney, but let's go first to Brett McLeod, who is at the Vatican this morning. Brett, good morning to you. Good morning, Alex, and we've heard from the Pope for the first time in that statement to the College of Cardinals where he pays tribute to George Pell for his work in reforming the church's finances. But he also, in one of his statements, does seem to allude to his trials in Australia where he says, I raise prayers for the repose of this faithful servant who unwaveringly followed his Lord with perseverance even in the hour of trial that he may be received into the joy of heaven. Still waiting on word here when a mass will be held, most likely Friday local time uh, and his body will probably lie in state in the day before that. Alex? All right, Brett, thank you. The reaction to the Cardinal's death has been divided here in Australia. In Melbourne, his passing has sent shockwaves through the church. The Cardinal is, I think, being one of the great uh, churchmen of Australia and internationally. Well, I feel pretty devastated, to be honest. Um, uh, he was a really good man, someone who I knew personally and who I found very inspirational. But the Cardinal's legacy is complicated for survivors of abuse. I've spoken to most of the Ballarat survivors this morning. You know, no one really cares about what George and no one's upset or sad about it. On the front page of the Australian newspaper this morning, he's remembered as God's strongman. A similar sentiment shared by Liberal politicians. John Howard describing his passing as a great loss to the country. Tony Abbott declaring Australia has lost a great son. While Peter Dutton describes the Cardinal's overturned conviction as a modern day political persecution. The Prime Minister has expressed his condolences to Catholics across Australia. Let's bring in Gabrielle Boyle outside St Mary's Cathedral in Sydney. Gabby, good morning to you. The late Cardinal will be laid to rest in Australia. Brooke, good morning to you. Cardinal George Pell's body will be flown back to Australia in the coming days. He will be laid to rest here at St Mary's Cathedral in the centre of Sydney. Exact dates remain to be seen, but we certainly know a makeshift memorial will also be established in Melbourne for people to pay their respects. There is divided reaction over the death of Cardinal George Pell. He is, of course, the most senior member of the church to be convicted on child sex offences. Those convictions were later overturned. He spent time behind bars before being released. It was an extraordinarily high-profile process, that uh, uh, court situation, uh, which made headlines here in Australia and overseas for some time. It is worth noting that at the time of his death, George Pell was being sued by a father whose son had passed away. 
We now understand that that father will continue with the legal process, instead suing the church. Brooke? Thanks, Gabby. Another interest rate looks likely. A hike, that is, next month. The cash rate tipped to rise a quarter of a percent. It's due to strong retail sales and surging inflation, with the monthly consumer price index showing headline inflation has jumped to 7.3 percent. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese will address the Parliament of Papua New Guinea today. It's part of a two-day visit in which the PM will pledge to deepen defence ties with the nation, including wrapping up negotiations of the bilateral security treaty. We're just days out from the first ball being served at the 2023 Australian Open, but Novak Djokovic is still clearing the air following last year's controversial deportation saga. He maintains he didn't break any rules in this exclusive interview with Nine News. I was just following the rules, you know. My, my exemption was verified by an independent uh, body uh, and panel of doctors. So uh, it was unknown, you know, who was handing or giving the request uh, and, I, and I came in with all the valid papers. Today Melbourne reporter Christina Hearn is at Melbourne Park for us this morning. Chris, good morning to you. He's taken aim at the media. Brooke, he certainly hasn't held back in this first interview since arriving in Melbourne since the deportation saga of last year. Novak Djokovic says he followed all the rules, had all the paperwork in order for his vaccination exemption and has alluded to the fact that Australian authorities singled him out. He's also revealed that it did take quite a toll on him. He stayed at home in Serbia for weeks, waiting for it all to blow over. All of a sudden I became the villain, you know, of the world, which, which was uh, obviously a terrible position to be in as, as, as an athlete, as someone that is looking to obviously thrive in its own area, in its, or, its own, so to say, uh, direction of, of life and profession. Um, but that's something that I, I, I guess I had to learn how to handle. So the big question is, how is he going to be received here at Melbourne Park? Well, the former world number one says he simply doesn't know, but he is hoping for a positive reaction from fans. Well, Brooke. we'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks, Chris. Three men are recovering this morning after a freak wave capsized their boat south of Sydney. The men clung onto their boat for an hour in waters off the Royal National Park before a bushwalker raised the alarm. They were then winched to safety. I feel that if we hadn't have arrived within another 10 or 15 minutes, they most likely would have found themselves on the rocks. It is a treacherous part of the coast. It's very isolated and midweek when there's fewer people around and boats to help them can be risky. The men were taken to hospital with mild hypothermia. A Queensland couple has been rescued after becoming stranded at sea during a camping trip. The pair was paddleboarding off a remote island when they drifted 50 nautical miles over three days in shark-infested waters. A fisherman and his father found the couple, with paramedics later treating them for exhaustion and shock. South Australians are being warned about a spike in the number of mosquitoes carrying dangerous viruses. Almost 30 viruses have been detected in mosquitoes this year, this season rather. The state's chief public health officer says recent weather conditions and floods in the Riverland have fuelled that surge. Communities in Western Australia...